Sure, last week I went to go see a movie where a masked killer takes a giant leap off a crane to burst through the window of a high-rise, then kill everyone with a sledgehammer. But it was this movie where I was like, can we take a breather for a few minutes? Yes, I know it's called Bullet Train, but must the plot move so fast? The movie features a collection of hitmen on board a bullet train, where a lot of action ensues that has to do with a briefcase. I put it like that because I was maybe 40 minutes into it and was like, I'm still not 100% sure what this is about, but hey, it looks pretty. From the beginning, they pretty much thrust you into this situation, and with the high-speed editing, now we're with this character, now we're in this flashback, and now we're with that character. Oh, here's a new person! It is a very overwritten film. With the dialogue, the editing, and the characters, it feels written by someone who watched a lot of Guy Ritchie, Smokin' Aces, and Snakes on a Train. It's definitely the kind of movie where the characters get a quirky, flashy title card. And it's not even that it does it poorly, it's just that I feel like I've seen that gimmick about five times in the last couple months, so I'm a little tired of it at this point. At first, the hip, random dialogue seems to be the top priority, like one of those mid to late 90s crime comedies where the ambition is, we're gonna be cool as fuck and have a deep conversation about Thomas the Tank Engine. It tries a little too hard to be the hippest kid on the block, where it's like you can practically see the script on screen. Okay, I wanted to get those qualms out of the way first, because truth be told, despite all of those problems I had with it, I did still like it. While I had issues with some of the pacing, I was really invested in it, because the actors, along with their characters, do make you give a shit. It's a very funny film. I laughed out loud several times in it, really more so than any straightforward comedy this year. Brad Pitt is extremely funny as this aloof character who just thinks he's doing a simple snatch-and-grab job and is genuinely confused as to why people are trying to kill him. He's very funny in his fight scenes where he's just flabbergasted by the situations. Aaron Taylor Johnson is great in this too, and it got to where his scenes would become some of my favorites in it. Hell, most of the fight scenes are funny, and they combine a lot of physical comedy with over-the-top violence, and it works. While the characters can feel very scripty, I did care when something bad would happen to them. And when it comes to the villains, they do a good job of really making you want to see someone kill the hell out of them. I like it when they give giant backstories for characters who then die fairly quickly. It does make it unpredictable. We even get backstories for a snake and a water bottle. And there's some really funny scenes with the snake. It does get a bit much towards the end. It's one of those where a lot of monologues set in that just explain everything to the audience. The action gets a little too cartoonish, and even the one-liners wear out their welcome and become kind of obnoxious. It's a lot of things that feel like it's dragging the movie out a bit, so it certainly needed to wrap up. But, between the characters and actually giving a shit about them, plus the laughs I got, and never really feeling bored, I'll give it a B. If you see it, you'll probably have a fun time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've also got the Asylum version to watch, too. So, subscribe to our channel today, and click the notification bell, and we'll see you next time.